What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to simplify then solve an algebraic equation by combining like terms. Okay so got a couple examples right here so let's start with this first one. So it says 3x minus 7 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 1. All right so how do you solve for x right here? So the first thing you're going to do is combine like terms. So you can move stuff around okay so I can rewrite this as 3x and then this minus 2x I'll bring down next minus 2x and then this minus 7 I'll put right here and then this minus 4 right here okay you can shuffle stuff around but it's really really important that when you do move stuff around you bring the sign with it okay so that's why minus 2x was minus 2x minus 7 minus 7, right? And then minus 4 is just right there. Okay, and again, this is equal to 1. Okay, so simplifying some stuff here. 3x minus 2x is equal to 1x. And then we have minus 7 minus 4, which is negative 11, right? And that's equal to 1, okay? And also 1x, I could actually just write that as x, right? So really we have x minus 11 is equal to 1. Okay, so we're trying to isolate x by itself, right? So in order to get rid of this minus 11, I'm going to add 11. But again, what you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other, right? So we're going to add 11 on this side also. Okay, so minus 11 plus 11, that just goes to, to 0, right? So then on this side of the equation, we're just left with x. And then that's equal to 1 plus 11, which is equal to 12, right? So your answer right here would be x is equal to 12. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's just do one more example here. So up here we have 6n plus 5 minus 4n minus 4 is equal to 3. Okay, so again, the first step is going to be shuffling stuff around to make it easier to combine like terms. Okay, so first I'm going to write my n terms. So we have 6n, and then here we have minus 4n, right, minus 4n, and then here we have plus 5, so plus 5 goes there, and then minus 4, okay? So again, I kept all the signs with the terms, right? So make sure you move those to keep it consistent, okay? And then this is equal to 3, okay, equal to 3. Okay, so now we can combine like terms, right? So 6n minus 4n is equal to 2n, okay? And then we're adding, right, plus... 5 minus 4, 5 minus 4 is just 1, and then that's equal to 3, right? Okay, so we're almost there. We're still trying to isolate n by itself. So the next thing we're going to do is get rid of this plus 1. So in order to do that, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides, right? Okay, so then these 1s cancel out. They just go to 0, and then so we're just going to be left with 2n on this side, and then that's equal to... 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Okay, so we almost have n by itself, but we're multiplying by 2 right here, right? So in order to undo the multiplication, we're going to divide. What are you going to divide by? Well, by whatever you're trying to get rid of. So if we want n by itself, we need to get rid of the 2. So we're going to divide by 2. And remember, what you do to one side, you do to the other, okay? So these 2s cancel out. So on this side, all we're left with is n, right? And then that's going to be equal to 2 divided by 2, which is just 1. Okay, so then your answer right here is n is equal to uno. It's equal to 1. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.